Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. When even Don and Billy Fletcher's infant son was diagnosed with leukemia, their lives in Emmerdale were completely flipped upside down. Since then, he has been receiving intense chemotherapy in a hospital. In particular, Dawn's life now revolves around the hospital. She has seldom left even side and has only been back to home farm a few times to visit her other children. Lucas and Clemmy, out of a desire to not leave him on his alone. Billy has been spending half of his time at home and the other half in the hospital. The stress has been unbearable for both of them and has nearly torn them apart. The main problem right now is that because of Evan's medication, his body is unable to fight off pathogens. Therefore, everyone has to take extra precautions to avoid infecting him. Evan is at a great risk because Clemmy and Lucas attend school, where kids frequently get colds and other illnesses. There was concern on Monday's June 3 program when Evan's temperature rose. Don couldn't help but feel resentment at Billy for not keeping a closer eye on Lucas and his pals, one of whom was sick. In all likelihood, Billy stated they could never completely eradicate the family germs. In an attempt to reduce the dangers, we'll phone the school to inquire about homeschooling Lucas and Clenny. Shortly later, the medical personnel provided better news. Evan's fever had begun to drop after receiving antibiotics. Dawn told Will that she was concerned about returning home to carry viruses back to Evan, even though she had been told to go home and relax. Although she mentioned her body would be in bed, her thoughts would still be at the hospital with her young son. He thought it would be worth it to spend a night in her own bed. Trust me, if there was anything I could do, anything to actually escape this worry and pain, even for an hour, she said to her father when she was at her wit's end. Will questioned her out of concern, and it was obvious from his anxious look that he believed she was considering using narcotics. Dawn is a drug addict in recovery who has struggled to maintain her sobriety. During Evan's birth, she declined pain medication out of concern that it would set her back on the wrong road. Now that she's so worn out and worried out, is she considering reverting to her previous coping mechanisms? This is going to become a major problem in the upcoming episodes as Dawn's mother, Rose, offers her some strong sleeping drugs in an attempt to assist her. Rose and Ruby Fox Milligan, Beth Cordingly, are conspirators, and we know it, but will Rose really risk her daughter's healing for the sake of the scheme? Or was it just a simple error? And what response will Don give Rose's offer? Anna Forster's Emmerdale secret has finally come to light, along with an explanation of her possible relationship to Mina Jutla. Many people really believe that Paula Lane's Ella is related to Mina Jutla in some way. Fans of the soap opera may recall Paige Sadhu's character Mina, who killed multiple people in the Dales before being apprehended and imprisoned. Some people think Ella and Mina first met while Ella was incarcerated, but others were certain that Ella and Mina were childhood friends after a picture was discovered. But today, Ella's history was revealed, along with her relationship to Mina. Discussing her relationship to the Phillips family with Liam Cavanaugh, she began by saying, I did something terrible and I went to prison for a long time. However, after a number of years, these remarkably intelligent people, psychologists, and prison staff met to discuss my progress and the appropriate time for my release. Due to my attitude, I was kicked out twice and sent to a women's prison. Eventually, these specialists determined that neither you nor I posed a threat to the public. And I hold on to the notion that those individuals trusted in me and placed their trust in me when things turned bad as they are right now, when people find out what I did and I'd have to leave again. They were accurate. Pouring a pint over that guy's head was the most aggressive thing I've done since being freed six years ago. The other villagers then came into a newspaper item about a Ruth Davies, 
who happens to be Ella's real name. According to the report, Joanne, who was also 11, was the victim of a jealous, frenzied attack by Ruth, who was 11. Ella's description of her past refutes the assumption that she shared a cell with Mina because Ella was released from prison five years ago in 2019 and Mina was sent to prison in 2022. Thus, there was no possibility that they would cross paths while serving their sentences. She appears to be attracted to Mina because she is aware that Mina we killed Liam's daughter, of course, Lena. that Lena passed away when she was very young, murdered by Mina when she discovered the truth about the killer's involvement in the killing of her young friend Nadine. Considering her personal history with Joanne, it appears that Ella was curious about what happened to Liam's daughter, Lena, which is why she was intrigued and possessed newspaper clippings about Mina. Viewers of Emmerdale were left stunned as they witnessed Amy Wyatt marrying Maddie Barton in stunning sequences. The long-term lovers from the ITV soap opera ultimately exchanged vows on Wednesday nights, April 17. Journey to the Dales. Though there was turbulence along the way, Amy's mother, Carrie, nearly put an end to the wedding when she couldn't come up with the money she had agreed to pay for the special day. When everything at home farm was set to go, Carrie admitted she was broke since the jewelry she intended to sell wasn't worth as much as she had assumed. Amy was devastated by her mother's behavior and insisted that she pack her things and leave their house right away. Fortunately, Eric Pollard came to the rescue by covering the wedding expenses and escorting Amy down the aisle. Then in front of their friends and family, Amy, played by Natalie and Jamieson, and Maddie, played by Ash Paul Michiano, exchanged vows in a moving ceremony. Kyle Winchester, Amy's son, served as Maddie's best man. However, Amy decided to take a unique approach to the typical wedding gown. She wore a stylish, ivory-toned dress with a rutched waist, a strapless bodice, and a high-low skirt. Amy even wore her go-to pair of Doc Martens, which had been personalized with their wedding date on the back. Although the black leather jacket dress with wifey stitched on the back completed the vamp-inspired and symbol, some Emmerdale fans weren't sure what to make of the garment at first. Amy is known for her unconventional ways. Is the front of her dress caught in her knickers? A fan inquired. Why is her dress tucked in her underwear? Said a second person. I'd adore Amy's Dr. Martins, said a third. I'm not into the dress. It appears to be tucked into her underwear. However, the wedding itself received a lot of appreciation as well. At Geordie Gal commented, Wonderful wedding. Amazing episode. Amy and Maddie make the ideal couple on Emmerdale. As ex Kelly Lou said, Amy and Maddie, congratulations. Hash to Emmerdale. That was a pretty fun episode. Amy and Maddie are husband and wife so cute. Hash to Jemmerdale, commented at blue underscore Laura Levin. I adored Amy's wedding fit at Winnis underscore world continued. I'm glad Eric came to the rescue on hashtag Emmerdale. Meanwhile, as Amy tossed her bouquet to Victoria Sugden at the reception, others worried that her history of setting fires might come back to haunt her. Someone commented, throwing a bouquet indoors with lots of candles about. Huh, the bouquet was thrown across all those tables with lit candles on, said a second person. All right, all right, throwing a bouquet backwards when there are candles around, a third person said. I'm surprised there weren't flames at the wedding. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.